Okay, so there's this famous old song. And uh, since we're not going to be here at the time of the song, I'm going to do it now. We have to pretend it's very, very late. But this is a, uh, a very old, famous drunk song. And uh, I'm a very old, famous drunk. No, no, I used to be. I, 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 we were talking about that on the break. I'm not famous anymore. Thank you. Now I'm only Jewish for this. So this saga that you'll hear in this song, if you listen to the words, it's, it's, it's about this guy. He's been out to about, uh, he's been out to about six or seven places and around place four or five, the chicks split with the other guy and all the bread. And he stumbles into this last place real late at night. There's just him and a piano player and a bartender. And he uh, slides up to the bar and tells this story. And uh, on behalf of all the bartenders in the world, if this ever happens to you, do not do this to a bartender. They've heard it 14,000 times. They're tired of it. But put yourself in the position of the bartender who's listening to this story. It's a great song. Yeah, right. Kitten up a tree. Corner of the tree. <laughs> it's quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. So set them up, Joe. I've got a little story you ought to know. We're drinking, my friends, to the end of a brief episode. Joe, I know you're getting 
anxious to close And thanks for the cheer I hope you didn't mind My bending your torch that I found It's gonna be drowned Or it soon might explode So make it one for my baby And another one Now that's a great drunk song.